This is Dr. Dennis Long, Sports and Regenerative Medicine Specialist. We're going to talk a little bit about avascular necrosis in the knee. Avascular necrosis is a disorder where the blood supply to the bone becomes impaired and then the bone dies. So you have obstruction of the blood flow, which is avascular, and necrosis, which is bone cell death. Avascular necrosis. It's also called osteonecrosis. Osteo refers to bone, necrosis again, cellular death. The most common is joint affected is the hip. You can have a hip and a knee or both hips, but we're gonna just talk about the knee. The knee is comprised basically the articulation of the big thigh bone, the femur, and it articulates with the shin bone, the tibia. We have a hinge joint. There is cartilage between. We can have loss of blood flow to the tibia or the femur or both. I've seen cases that are not traumatic that are more involved, such as with high dose corticosteroids or radiation therapy, where it's spotty and it'll be the top of the femur to the hip all the way down to the knee joint, including the tibia. So we need sometimes imaging studies, x-rays and MRIs to help fully evaluate and people can have it in both knees, a hip and a knee, or even the ankle, and I've seen that. So when we're evaluating people with knee complaints, especially with trauma, we have to consider, especially in our athletes, uh, could there possibly be a avascular necrosis event occurring? So being a specialist, I see patients from around the world who have avascular necrosis. So we're utilizing regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy to help these patients heal their cells without knee surgery, arthroscopic, microfracture, cord decompression, or a knee replacement.